even as we go through the challenges that we have, we will never forget that in Nakuru, we made a commitment to unity and to Kenya and Kenyans working together. We will do whatever it takes to ensure that that promise and that commitment is fulfilled now and in the future so that we can build on the firm foundation in this Nakuru to unite the people of Kenya and to unite the nation so that we can walk together as Kenyans this journey. We will have challenges, we will have hurdles along the way, we will have barriers, but I want to tell you that uh, we trust in a living God that every barrier will be changed or converted into a bridge and every hurdle will be a stepping stone so that we can reach the Kenya we all want, a united, a country that works together and a country that works for everybody and leaves nobody behind. Hatutarudi nyuma katika siyasa ya chuki na ugomvi na migawanyiko na ukabila. Tutaenda mbele katika siyasa ya kuunganisha wa Kenya na kupanga mambo ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya. Tukizingatia umoja na ushirikiano na sisi zote kufanya kazi bila ya kuwacha wengine nyuma. Tutafanya hivyo kama heshima ya watu wanakuru ambao tulianza hapa safari ya kuunganisha Kenya. Tunajua ya kwamba kuna changamoto mbalimbali. Na mimi nataka niseme katiba ya Kenya na sisi kama serikali ya Kenya msimamo wa katiba na msimamo wa serikali ya Kenya ni kwamba jeshi ya polisi is an independent police force that is not expected to take instructions from anybody and therefore we expect from our police force and the government of Kenya has gone out of its way to make sure that our police service has the requisite personnel, the requisite um, infrastructure, the necessary equipment for them to discharge their mandate and responsibility as per the constitution. And we expect the IG to provide the leadership and the command that will ensure that we have a professional, independent police service that does not bend to political interests or partisan considerations. I want to say for the record that the police service have no excuse. They should not blame or try to apportion blame to any group or side. They have a duty to ensure that every citizen, their property and rights are protected. The biggest threat that this country can face is if the police service is partisan or responds to political interests. That will pose the biggest danger to our country. I want to ask 
the IG and the police service. The constitution is very clear that the police is an independent service and therefore they must discharge their responsibility as required of them by the constitution and they will carry the responsibility if they don't measure up to what the constitution expects of them. An independent judiciary is the pillar to the rule of law. We expect that the judiciary will stand up to be counted as an independent institution and not to listen to any lectures from any quarters. It is expected and we have confidence that the men and women in our judiciary have the necessary professionalism and competence to be able to discharge their mandate and their responsibility independently as is required of them by the Constitution. Everybody should do their bit. We will do our bit in the executive. Independent institutions should do theirs. The legislators should do theirs and the judiciary must stand to defend all the other institutions by making sure that they are independent, they are professional, and they act in accordance with the Constitution. That is the safest route to a stable, prosperous, and democratic Kenya. And we expect all institutions to play their role without the unnecessary blame game that is going on.